welcome, my friends. Thanks so much for taking the time to stop by once again as we sample some more great tasting American craft beers with Dr. Dave. Outstanding. Now for our sampling pleasures and tasting delights today, let's see what we have. Ooh, we got one from the Half Acre Brewing Company. Now they're located in Chicago, Illinois, and this is the Bodum. Described as an IPA that checks in at 6.7% alcohol by volume. According to the date stamp on the bottom, we have a bit of time on here. We have 152 days. Oh, dearie me, that's quite a bit of time. 152 days, a little bit over five months. For an IPA, well, we'll think good thoughts and see what happens. Because if you think good thoughts in life, good things happen. Let's go ahead and open this sucker up. There we go. We've got to be careful with these cans, especially an older can like this one. We get a freshly washed glass and rinsed with cold water. Now, uh, unfortunately, this looks like a West Coast style IPA. It's very clear. And I say unfortunately because West Coast style IPA is not apt to keep past a maximum a real maximum of 120 days. Uh, I like it for 90 days, but you can stretch it to 120 days. Now this has poured out a lovely, clear, golden color. Oh, it's beautiful. Nice, bright, white head. Mm-hmm. Let's see what uh, kind of aroma this yields. Picking up too much there. It, uh, let's pour a little bit more in here, see what we can find. Now, I'm not getting a whole lot in there. It's malty, more malty than anything else. Now, that's what can happen when you allow a West Coast style IPA to sit around for a long time. And it's my fault. Yeah, it's my fault because I've been so busy with other things, uh, too numerous to go into. But uh, it's making a lovely appearance. It's got some lively carbonation flowing up from the bottom. I know you can't see that on the camera. But it seems to be a well-crafted beer, so let's give it a chance. Let's thank the brewers in Chicago, Illinois there because uh, brewing beer is a lot of hard work. And this has a nice rocky head to it. So it could, uh, could be quite good. You never know. So I want to thank those brewers. Cheers to them and cheers to you at home, no doubt. Oh, now that's quite lovely. You see, you can never judge a book by its cover and you can never judge a beer in its glass. But the one thing about this beer is it has a rocky head. And that's always an indicator of a well-crafted beer. I don't care if it's poured into a filthy, dirty glass, which nobody wants to drink from, but it's still going to have that nice rocky head to it. Yeah, I've seen it many times in bars. I don't frequent those bars anymore. It only takes one time for me to see a dirty glass in a bar, and that's the end of the story. You bring me a dirty glass, and I send it back, and you bring me another dirty glass, I'm going to leave a $5 bill on the bar and say thank you, and I'm never coming back there. That's how that's going to work. And what are you going to do? Are you going to call the police? Yeah, whatever. Hmm, this, this is a decent beer. Now, this is the testament to not only a well-crafted beer, but to being in a can and being well cared for, and I mean me. Yeah, I brought it home, and every time I bring beer home, I put it right into the fridge. I don't let my beer sit in the closet somewhere. Oh, man, that is a really good beer. I'm betting that fresh, this was really a great beer. It's a decent beer now, but I'm telling you, fresh, this was a killer beer. It's got lovely malts in the backbone, but then you get that lovely dry and bitter finish. And it's only 6.7%, which means 
yeah, you can drink a few of these and not really feel the ill effects, but I'm going to have to look for this, Bodum. Now, that sounds biblical to me for some reason, Bodum. Bodum. I don't know. It sounds biblical. I, uh, I do read the Bible, but I would never sit here and say I'm an expert on the Bible. And really, speaking of experts, who is an expert on anything? Yeah. You may be a knowledgeable person, but are you an What makes you an expert? What makes you more knowledgeable than this guy over here or this woman over here or that guy back? You know, what makes you more knowledgeable? You're knowledgeable, but what makes, makes you more knowledgeable? I'm extremely knowledgeable on several subjects, but am I an expert? Hmm, I wouldn't think so. Hmm, this is really good. I don't know why this itches right here on my face all day. Maybe allergies coming up. But at any rate, I'm going to describe this as a medium body beer. It has um, light to medium carbonation, and I would love to have this fresh. Oh, I'd love to have this on tap. Man, this is a good beer. Well, I'll tell you what, I may go to Chicago this year, this summer, just for a couple of days. Uh, anybody who watches my channel knows why I would go to Chicago. Yeah, just for a couple of days, nothing major. I just got to get somebody to feed my cats. No doubt. Got to take care of the kitty cats. By the way, this person I'm talking about makes fun of me because I love cats. But that would uh, upset a lot of animal lovers out there, huh? Well, what's wrong with cats? What's wrong with dogs? What's wrong with pets in general? Something is wrong with you, my man. Maybe you need a few of these. <laughs> hey. I'll tell you what, one more time. This is from the Half Acre Brewing Company out of Chicago, Illinois. And this is a testament to the brewers in Chicago that a beer would last this long and still taste this great. Oh, my God. Look at the lacing on that glass. You cannot make that up. I can't sit here and make that lacing stick to that glass. I cannot do it. But at any rate. Life is short, be happy. You know what? If you don't like this beer, you don't have to. But drink something that you like because, hey, when we're out of here, that's the end of the story, baby. Enjoy while you can. And to that end, until we meet next time, here's wishing all of you the very best of goodbyes. And as always, cheers. <laughs>